So this is how what you actually see in the agriculture field that there are different processes uh, which are involved in carrying out the process of cultivation. There are so many different what you can call it as vehicles or there are so many different uh, uh, instruments or equipments also which are being used for carrying out the process of cultivation. So what is cultivation in agriculture? Cultivation, it is the process of growing plants over here. I'm specifically referring to crops. It can be food crops. It can be vegetables. It can be even say fruits on an arable land. Now, what is an arable land? An arable land, it is a fertile land, which is normally used for growing the crops. So you need to have a very good area or a land, which ideally it should be fertile so that you are able to carry out the process of cultivation. It is usually associated with large scale agriculture. So it is nothing but it is a form of agricultural practices and it is opposed to small scale gardening. Gardening mainly it is done for the uh, small scale purpose. It may be what you can call it as near the residence or near the raw houses and cultivation. It is carried out on a very large scale. A very huge area of the land is always required for carrying out the process of cultivation. Okay, now basic requirements of crop cultivation is you require what a fertile land, a soil, water, either in the form of rainfall or different forms or systems of irrigation and seeds. Without seeds, you may not be able to carry out the process of cultivation. Cultivation also involves sowing of seeds in appropriate season, in appropriate uh, climatic condition or in appropriate time. In the process of cultivation, you often require initial tilling of the land. Now, there are some what you can call it as land which you need to prepare it for raising or cultivating a crop. For example, say you will require some vehicles, for example, say tractor for carrying out the process of plowing for breaking the clods for that harrowing technique is used. So they will break up the clod. They will ensure that uh, pores are available within the soil. Okay. So that you are able to carry out the process of cultivation properly. You also need to ensure that the weeds are not there. Weeds are the, uh, what you can call it as unwanted plant material, which are not actually the part of the crop. So they are growing additionally along with the actual crop and ultimately harvesting the crop. Harvesting, it is nothing but harvesting is gathering of a crop. So once the crops are being completely grown, okay, then we have to collect it by applying the proper technique of harvesting. So this is the uh, picture or the photograph of a harrow. So usually a harrow, it is considered to be an agricultural implement with a spike like teeth. So there are spike like teeth, which is being shown over here. And this spike like teeth or upright teeth, they are basically drawn for plowing the land. Okay, so all the clods which are present, okay, it is a lump or a chunk of earth soil or a clay. So you have to carry out the process of harrowing to root up the weeds. So whatever weeds which are present, okay, along with the crop. So that has to be removed. That has to be separated. So for that, the harrowers are used and harrowing technique is being followed. Now, what is the basic difference between a wild plant and a cultivated plant? Wild plants are those plants which are occurring, growing, or living in a natural state. That means they are not cultivated, tamed, or domesticated. That means there are some areas, say for example, say forest areas, or in the mountainous regions, or in a particular hilly areas or geographical location, wherein the specific plants, they are growing on their own. Okay, cultivated plants are those plants wherein they are grown for their produce. That means we are carrying out, a, we are selecting a particular land, an agricultural land for cultivating the specific variety of a crop in a particular region. Okay. And our intention is to get the maximum yield of the phytoconstituents in that particular area by carrying out the process of cultivation. So cultivation, it is always done by a human effort. Whereas the wild plants, they are 
grown on their own okay so they are available in the natural state okay so a harvester he is going to visit that particular place or he is going to go to that particular place and collect the plant from that particular region okay so there are certain drugs like cardamom that is ginger uh, cardamom is elaichi ginger is adrak peppermint spearmint they are the drugs containing volatile oil they are all obtained from the cultivated variety in some of the other plants both the varieties are available that is the wild plants as well as the cultivated plants some of the plants have been cultivated since ancient times like for example say the latex coming from opium poppy or coca plant other plants are now we have to grow it the reasons are supplies from the wild plants are insufficient to meet the demand so there is lot of demand of plant material for uh, herbal formulations or for uh, uh, preparing the herbal extracts but from wild plants the supplies are inadequate so we need to carry out the process of cultivation also owing to sparse distribution that means they are available at uh, very different places and they are available in very little quantities in addition to it it is inaccessible to reach out to that particular place and collection is difficult so it is very difficult to go to such a extreme uh, area where the plant is growing wildly so collection is a challenge so over here there is an apparent need to carry out the process of cultivation cultivation is also essential in case of all those drugs which are coming under government control and recently for those wild plants in danger of over exploitation so there are some wild plants which are being used very extensively and there are some which come under uh, government control particularly those drugs which are containing uh, narcotic substances for example the opium poppy and indian hemp indian hemp is coming under uh, that is called as a uh, uh, cannabis sativa or cannabis sativus so they are all coming under the government control that is narcotic drugs so uh, for that cultivation is absolutely required and there are different uh, regulatory norms which are applicable for these kinds of drugs or plant materials cultivation is advisable because you are getting an improved quality of the drug which it is possible to produce the improvement may be due to power to confine collections to species varieties or hybrids which have desired phytochemical characters for example say cinnamon fennel and cinchona so if i want to collect a particular species or a particular variety or a hybrid hybrid is a one which is uh, what you can call it as uh, having a different trait or a character which is having maximum yield of uh, phytochemic phytochemical characters phytochemical characters over here i am referring to maximum amount of phyto constituents for example say in case of cinchona bark quinine is the active constituent so quinine it is an anti malarial drug so i want to get maximum yield of quinine or quinidine then i will go for cultivated variety of cinchona bark in case of fennel fencon is the active constituent then better development of the plants owing to improved conditions of soil pruning and control of insect pest and fungi so whenever i'm going to carry out the process of cultivation i can choose the soil which is required for that particular crop or a plant i can ensure that i'm able to control the pest fungi or insects i can also carry out the process of pruning that means the weeds whatever the unwanted plants are there or a specific treatment to the seed i want to give that is also called as pruning so i'm removing whatever is undesirable whatever is not actually the crop so that is all possible in the process of cultivation the better facilities of treatment after collection so once the crop or the plant is collected then i can subject it to the scientific processing of the plant for example say in case of digitalis i can dry it at the correct temperature which is given in the pharmacopoeia so is the case with belladonna in case of cinnamon and ginger i can perform the process of peeling that is the outer coating or the covering that is the part of the plant material which is not required i can remove it so better processing is available better treatment is possible after collection